Introduction to Kilometer, Part 2. Today you will learn how distance can be written with two units. And how can you add or subtract two lengths given in two units. I am going on a trip to Nainital. Really? And we are going to Jaipur. Nainital is 300 kilometers away from here. Is that so? And Jaipur is 280 kilometers away. I thought you would ask what a kilometer is. No, I know that. Kilometer is a unit of length measurement. Yesterday my papa told me. Papa told me yesterday too. If Nainital is 300 kilometers and Jaipur is 280 kilometers away, then the distance between Jaipur and Nainital is only 20 kilometers. That means we can also visit Jaipur while going to Nainital. Tell your papa that we can go to both the places as the distance between them is only 20 kilometers. Papa, this time we should go to visit Jaipur along with Nainital. No, the distance between the two is a lot. Let's go to Nainital and we will go to Jaipur some other time. No, Papa, the distance between Nainital and Jaipur is not much, only 20 kilometers. No, Ayushman, there is a distance of 580 kilometers between the two. No, Rianj and I have calculated. Nainital is 300 kilometers and Jaipur is 280 kilometers away. If we subtract both, then only 20 kilometers will be left. Yes, but when both are added, then it's 580 kilometers. Yes, but why add? Look, we are here. And if we go 300 kilometers towards right, we will come to Nainital. And if you go 280 kilometers left from here, we will come to Jaipur. Now tell me, how far is Jaipur from Nainital? The distance between the two is 580 kilometers. That's why we cannot go to Jaipur this time. We'll go later. Okay, Dad. I ask you another question related to distance. Sure. My office is 3 kilometers 400 meters away from here. What does it mean? I know that. We can also tell the length using two different units. And this means that your office is 3 kilometers and 400 meters away. You are right. Now tell me how far I have to go to the office and come back. You go 3 kilometers 400 meters to go to the office and then 3 kilometers 400 meters back. So we will add these two numbers. All right. Now add. But I cannot understand how they will be added. Look, we can add numbers only when their units are the same. So here, we will add the value of meter to the meter and we will add the value of kilometers to kilometers. If you just add the value of the meter, the answer will be 800 meters and adding the value of kilometers, the answer will be 6 kilometers. This means that you travel 6 kilometers 800 meters to go to and come back from the office. Ayushman, you're absolutely right. One more question. How much less have I traveled from 7 kilometers? If 6 kilometers 800 meters is deducted from 7 kilometers, the answer to your question will be known? Absolutely right. Now subtract. If there is no meter written along with the 7 kilometer, then how can we deduct it? I cannot understand that. It's easy to do one thing. Convert both distances into meters. To convert 7 kilometers into meters, we will multiply 1000 into it. So here it is 7000 meters. Just like that, multiplying by 1000 in 6 kilometers, the answer will come 6,000 meters and adding 800 meters to it, the answer will be 6,800 meters. Absolutely right. Now they can be subtracted because the units of both are the same. The answer after subtracting them is 
200 meters. That is, you have to cover a distance of 200 meters more to walk 7 kilometers a day. Well done, Ayushman. Today you learned that distance or length can also be written in two units. Example, 3 kilometers, 400 meters. Values of two lengths can be added or subtracted only when they are written in a single unit.